Hello everyone, it's Charlotte here. Are you ready to start a new project? If you are, come on in and welcome to my home. I picked up a new Artie Mays kit and I will have the uh, name and the link in the description box below. But these are the pages and I'm so excited. I wanted something completely different this time. And I wanna say, I can't remember the name of this kit, but look at this. Oh, look at all these fun things. I just wanted a whole lot of ephemera. So if you're looking for ephemera, I would say this is where you need to go. So I did print off on computer paper and then I printed off on cardstock. Look at all this cool stuff that we're gonna be working with. It's gonna be so fun. And I really wanted to do not an eight by six or a, <clears throat> excuse me, seven by five. I wanted to do, the motivation for this comes from packaging from uh, 49 and Market. So I had used one of these frames in a medieval mirage design um, in one of the, the ones, the owls and raptors kit. And I think I had said that it was Tim Holtz, which it was not. It was 49 and Market. And so I had this leftover uh, packaging. And I thought this packaging was just cool. This was already there. I did score it a second time. I think that's about a quarter of an inch. And then I folded it and scored it another quarter of an inch because I want this to be the um, journal or whatever this is going to morph itself into because I don't know yet what we're going to do. And then I thought, well, this isn't enough. So I grabbed some envelopes and I started playing around with some envelopes. And I thought, I really want this, I think, on the front. So I glued the flap down and I folded it. And then I scored it also because we're going to need a little bit of a spine on there. And I want that to be on the front. And then I thought, okay, well, that's not enough. So I grabbed another envelope, measured it out, and gave it a spine. And I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I previously was going to put this like that, but I know that this is going to grow. And so I knew that this then would never end up fitting. So I think what I'm going to do is tuck it to the inside back. And then this can grow as much as it wants to, and it will flip up and still allow us to open this. But then I got to thinking, that's still not enough. So then I thought, okay, if we open this, and we open this, how about if we have another envelope like that, and then of course you can see how that does. So this envelope will have to go inside of there. Hopefully this is making sense. And this will go. So we're going to have something that looks like this. So yeah, this hangs off, but that just gives us a great place to maybe put a, um, a scrap collage. I mean, there's so much now that we can do. So I think we're going to have this where this opens up. This opens up. I think this is going to be attached to the flap because that, that would give us a tuck there, a pocket. So this will open up this way and then we could have a pocket here. This would open up and this would be attached like that and that makes a great pocket so i think i'm thinking this is where i want to go with this are you confused that's okay because you know how you have something in your head and then you've got to get it out of your head and you've got to get it 
down on paper and make it real. So that's kind of where I am. So I think I'm going to just start by picking up some of these. And what I want to do is create hinges like we did in the last one. So let me see here what we've got. I think, I think there are two sizes of these pages. Let me see. That's a Pacific company. I think Andrea gave us more than one size. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not at all. Um, I'm looking at this and thinking that would be pretty hinges, too. I'm not at all together because I came in here and thought we're going to do this together, and I don't know what I'm doing. So um, this would make a great, I have an idea for that. And then we've got stamps. There we go, this is it. This is what I was looking for. So in this kit, you would receive this size and then the smaller one here, this size. So depending upon, I think what I should do is cut these out. Let's see what the size is. And then um, see what we wanna hinge. What is going to be better? to hinge this size or this size here. Maybe we'll start with this because I know for sure that's going to fit. And then when I opened up this cardstock from Hobby Lobby, it had this on the front and I thought, and I got this, it was actually 50% off. So you can't beat a package of cardstock for 550. I mean, you just can't. So let's go ahead and let's cut this out. Let's hinge that, hinge them and see what we get. These two pieces right here, I think, or maybe these two pieces. Um, these are so different. Let's go with these. And it probably would have been better had I brought over my cutter. And did I? No. That would have been too easy. I'm gonna cut this, cut all three out just in case. Just in case we change our mind. Let's just do a rough cut. Okay. Now we'll get down to it. I don't feel like I can tear this, so. I'm not going to use the tear ruler. And let's see if I can get a good cut on this. And we are only going to cut, I'm not gonna cut the middle because we are going to use the middle as our hinge. And we'll see if this is gonna work the way that I hope it will. And we could use washi tape too if we wanted to. So let's see what we get here. And I can never cut a straight line no matter what I do. So I can see now I need to cut this. Just like that. And then let's fold this. And if it's not, I'm just now thinking, if this is not even, it's not going to fold even either. It's not going to fold in the middle. And so I did not bring my scoreboard, and I'm wondering if, is it possible to do this? Let's just try it and see if this will work because I really am excited to try this, but I'm, I'm not prepared, am I? I can hear kids out in the pool. So let me see if I can just kind of score, just score this. So 
so that I can make it fold this way. And it actually worked. But now I have to wonder if this is in a journal. Is it, you know what, I don't, I don't trust it. I don't think that's wide enough. I'm not, I don't wanna play around with that. So let's just, we'll, we'll just make a hinge and we will not worry about this. I've got a lot of my scraps. Let's just make a hinge and I think in the journal I want it to go that way. So it's like Charlotte, come on. Do we want to use this paper? Maybe. I think that'll fit. And this I can tear. I think that'll be enough. So let's use this. Fold this in half. Go. I want to go this way, I think. Then that will show. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'm kind of talking to myself. Okay, my glue is right here. So I'm thinking if I hinge this like this, Maybe go the other way. We can cover that side up. So we hinge this. So I'm, I'm going to first start. All I have is ephemera. So that was really what I was after. Just something just a cute little mini book with a lot of ephemera, kind of like one of my, um, kind of like one of my envelope books. What am I thinking? The back. Kind of like one of the envelope journals where it's just filled with pockets and ephemera and so many fun things to see like that. So that's kind of where I am going with this. And I think Andrea really picked a great kit for that type of thing. This is, um, I think this is going to be perfect. So we've got this piece here. And then we are going to have to, obviously, um, obviously we're going to have to collage this. So let's do that. Get this on here. Why is it always when you haven't done a movie in a couple days, it's always so hard to get back in the swing of things? So I've got some great paper there. This might be good because you can write. I've got a lot of just fun Maybe that, let's see how that looks. So, okay guys, we've got a little bit of medieval mirage here to collage with. So when this is in the journal, you obviously will turn this, it'll open up to this, and you, we want our writing, or we could go this way. And so this would be in the journal. You would open this up. Maybe that's the way to go. We'll go this way. And I was thinking, now that doesn't fit 100%, but I was thinking that might be really cute because we've got lines. So, you know, my brain is just 
right now kind of going and I'm talking at thinking out loud. It doesn't completely cover the page. So I might, let's just try to figure out what we're doing here. Glue stick. Okay. I hope everyone had a great Memorial Weekend and weekend itself. Hopefully your weather's good. You did something fun. Let's get this up there like that because I know that page is not going to fit. So then we're gonna have to turn this off. There's people working in the yard. So hopefully you're not picking up that background noise. Anyway, we were, the grandkids were in the pool. It was over a hundred degrees. So that was, it was really, really nice. And then we had um, grilled some salmon and grilled um, hot dogs and hamburgers. We had watermelon. It was just a really, really nice day. So it was a lot of fun. Now I'm thinking, let me put this on there. He would be really cute there, but the, he is not what I'm after. So I'm wondering now, this might be better. This might work better. I mean, this is the process, right? When you're sitting there having to think about what you're doing. This is the process, and it's what you have to do. You got to do it to get there. And I think we'll be able to write on this without it being any issue at all. And of course, for one piece of scrap paper, now we've got two more. That's just the way that always goes. So I like that. I think I like all oh, that shut. I better do it the other way just to make sure that my I don't lose my fold. So we will get this on there. I know where my fold is. We don't have to come right up to it. And just in case you're interested, I, I uh, did share what is in the mystery box this month. Well, actually, it would be last month's mystery box, and now I have to get busy creating June's mystery box and I don't really have a clue yet what I'm going to do so I've got a lot of work ahead of me but it's fun it's fun I, and obviously I can't do that on camera because I don't want to give away what it is so I think by the time that this is distressed, you would open that up and you would find this and we could put a little pocket in here. Now the question becomes, do we want, do we want the same thing on this side? I don't think so. Do I want to go ahead and do, I think if I take the purple off of here because I don't really want, I don't really want those flowers. Well, that did not work, so do I have another? This may not be meant to be. I do, but it is see-through. Let me see if this will work. This is a tracing paper. I think maybe let that would be good. You can 
see the white there, so maybe we could put just a little bit of paper, newsprint, book page. Put that right on there. just think this is going to be, if it, if it will go the way I'm thinking and the way I want it to go, I think it is going to be adorable and just cute, cute, cute. Let's see if I'm still on the fold. No, so that's good. Cut this. don't pick up. I don't want those purple flowers at all. So this will work well. And I could stitch around this if I wanted to. So now we've got two more scraps. Just the way it goes. Make sure this is down. It's cute, and then you open it up and you can do your thing. And so, what we can create a couple little pockets. little cute cute little mini just going to be so cute. It was like it was like the packaging was perfect. And I can see that this wants to come up, so I think I probably will go ahead and stitch around here. This will make a really cute pocket. So let's get this down with the glue. Tiny, tiny. Everything in this is just going to be little, little, little. Little and so cute. And I'm not going to go all the way to the bottom because I think that you're more apt to realize it's a pocket if I don't. Then I think let's put a pocket on the other side as well. So let's see what we've got. What we think will fit. There's a lot of stamps, which is good. Got those butterflies, that's so cute. That admissions might be really cute. And then we have, we'll 
all of these, we could actually do a little belly band. Oh my gosh, that might be a good idea. How about if we do a belly band? I'm trying to see how big those butterflies were, if that would work. We've got the small butterflies, and then we've got these tickets. But I'm thinking, just a little bit too big but I think this right here would make a cute cute belly band so let's see if this will fit I think it will so let's cut this off I'm sitting here thinking to myself, do I want to put brads on this? And I'm not sure I want to do that. Don't want to lose that. That's okay. So that would fit nicely right there and we would have a really cute belly band. So let's do that. Just put a little bit of glue here. Because if I put a brad, put that on the end because this will go be sewn in. Like that. The brads would come through on this side and I wouldn't want to see that. But if this is in the journal then, you open this up, you've got a really, really cute little belly band there. You've got a little pocket there. Yeah, that's cute. That is really cute. Okay, so we've got that piece. Then I had this piece here. kind of thinking, do I want to do a hinge on this piece? And I think I do. And it doesn't have to be, just because I have a hinge doesn't mean there has to be anything on the other side because there doesn't. We are going to have to work with our um, envelopes if we are going to be this way then this envelope needs something when you open it up you're going to have a nice pocket there so if we wanted to collage this my papers because I want to stay within the kit as much as possible and this kit has very few pages that aren't something tickets or ephemera tags that sort of thing and so let me see if I can do something with this right here, because this is pretty cool. this route, but just in case, let's 
That is pretty neat. Let's see, where's our window? Be wonderful if the window was right there. Can I be that lucky? Just about. Okay, let's see. This can go, yes. Or we could use this and wrap this around like that. Let's do it. Because we can always layer on top of this. So we might want to put other papers. Or we could do this and fold this to the inside. But we've got our pocket there. So probably would be much easier to do this like that. Let's do that. So we get lots of glue on here. We need this to stick. We want our pages. Lots of Yoo-Hoo glue. And let's start this corner and then we could treat this as an envelope and put a stamp over it so we've got that to keep my my little spine from disappearing and then we need we've got some of the pink that would be cute but we've got a lot of other things that we can use also and I think I might go ahead and put book page on here and let's move that. I'm kind of looking for a stamp. Okay, my pages here. Oh, I like that vintage. I think that would be cute on there. And there's some stamps. So let me put a little bit of book page on here just for something different. I put that there, I'm, it's probably gonna peel. That's probably gonna be nothing but a problem if I do that. But I think we can do this. other side. I think I might like that better. So let's put this there. We can fold it up. Just bring that up just a little bit so we don't have such a straight edge. And then just fold this up like that and what do we want to run around run down around the bottom do we have we do have this inside of there so I think this might off and we will fold this up we will fold 
fold this up. Might as well not waste it. Might as well use it all. Hopefully this little journal is going to have a lot of eye appeal and a lot of eye interest where you get pulled in. There's some, going to be so many really cute places that you don't know where to look. It's kind of what I'm after. So I like that. And let's see, do I have a, I know there's a narrow piece of, let's see what this would look like. This right here. I have no idea, this is one of those videos where I have no idea how long I've been on, guys. So I'm going to have to bring a clock because I don't want, I don't want to see like an hour and 15 minutes. It's just too long. Right, I like that idea, but we need something under it. So maybe more book page would look good. And then we'll just put that on. This is from a vintage book, so I really do enjoy using it, and I like to use all of it. So I really have no idea where this is going to take us, none at all. We are going on an adventure with this one. I know what I'm hoping for, but I don't know what we're going to get, so you know, sometimes you're down one road and you're just so sure where you're going and then life throws something else at you and next thing you know you're down a completely different road and uh, oh that looks really good guys so do we want this I think maybe right over there is good so let's do it and then I am going to sign off and I will be back tomorrow. So let's see what we've got here. That's really cute and maybe, just maybe, a little stamp and then we'll sign off. Let's see. I kind of like the idea of the blue because we've got blue. We don't have to have blue. That would look good. The green would look good, but the blue stands out. So I'm going to go for, I think, this darker one here. And I'm not going to put it on because I do have a stamp scissor and I want those jagged edges. So let's look at it and then I will cut it off camera so that I can get the jagged edges. And maybe just put it like that. Maybe something, maybe should we have something underneath that? some type of a label. Let's see what I've got over here in labels. These, I don't think these are Artie Mays, but I don't think that she will mind if I go off script just a little bit. That's an actual, let's see, there's some that have more color than others. Boy, you know, I was going through my digitals the other day and I came across these and I thought, you need to remember where you got these so that you can give credit. 
And do I remember now? I don't. So I apologize. If somebody recognizes these, just leave it in the comments so that others can see it. Okay, let's see if we put, if we put like that there and that there. that there then you see that 790 you've got the stamp I think we're gonna do that so let me go ahead and oh I kind of like that too let's get this in place and then I will cut the stamp and we'll put the stamp on because this is going to be the cover for the most part, I want to make sure that I get it right. And then when this is distressed, oh, is it going to be, it's going to be so beautiful. And then, do I want to wrap that around there like that? I think what I'm going to do is distress it and then see if I want something like that because we can always come back to that. And a piece of washi tape might look really, really good there. So this is going to go there and that is going to be the start of our cover. We have to do the back of that envelope and... Um, this envelope is going to go behind this one. So we have to keep that in mind so that when you flip this, what are we gonna do with this? Are we going to have pocket possibilities? Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to see. So guys, oh, I hope you're all gonna come on this uh, trip with me. I think we're gonna have a whole, whole lot of fun. I will see you tomorrow and take care of yourselves and thanks so much. We were kind of off to a, uh, a slow start, but I think we're going to get there. Thank you guys. Bye.